<laughs> Welcome to the Gordon Scale uh, YouTube channel, where we're going to be diving into the, I guess, review portion Ooh. of Kevin's number five from the all-time board game, what's it called? Battle of, Battle the, games? of the Games. Battle of the Games. <laughs> List. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, it's a good name. It's a good name. So I'll let Kevin go ahead it's and absolutely the best name. Describe <laughs> the game. All right. Viticulture is a uh, a wine themed worker placement. Very straightforward. Um, not a whole lot of crazy other <laughs> mechanisms going on. Um, but uh, you're a winemaker. You're trying to build out your vineyard and uh, bring guests, uh, visitors to, to your vineyard and uh, show them around, give tours, uh, you're building structures, you're planting vines, you're harvesting, you're making wine and filling wine orders. Um, it's uh, competitive spaces uh, you know, that scale really well from two to two to six players. Um, it's got a bunch of great expansions. Tuscany is the primary one. Um, there's also a, a viticultural world, which is a, a way to play it cooperatively, which I've never played, but... Um, I hate co-op games. Yeah, yes, I, he does. We're, I don't think we're ever going to get to play that together in this group. I'll have <laughs> to find other friends. <laughs> um, Good luck yeah. with that. Honestly, it's a pretty straightforward worker placement, but um, it was my number five because it just it does what it does really well, and it's a lot of fun. Is cool. it? So I think we start with, maybe we do this for the rest of the format too, a rating. One to okay. ten, babe. For me, one to ten? Wow, yep. on the spot. Like my personal rating or like personal where I would put rating. it within my games? No, your personal rating of this individual game. Mm. Personal rating of this individual game. I don't know if you guys heard me say Probably that. Probably a five. It'd be a Oof. five for me. A five out okay. of ten. Stop. That is like 50%. That's not horrible. Wait, hold on. You can't no. think of one through ten like. Five is I tolerate it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, hold on. So like when you say a five. <laughs> Like we gotta, we gotta. I mean, this is the first time we've done this. So you gotta clarify like what that means. A five That's what is I'm saying. Five is not middle, bad. It's I'll very in it. the middle. It's I will never choose five it. Five is mid. Exactly. I would never willingly play a five out of ten game. I would play with you guys because you wanted me to. Hence, why I played viticulture. Aww. Oh wow! Okay, bully. It's not a secret. Dwayne? This is not my favorite game. We've I, talked yeah, about this I before. I give it a solid seven and a half. <laughs> that half kind of felt like a pity rate, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, because I couldn't, because I was bouncing in my head between a seven and an eight. Um, but I feel like I'm just stuck right there in between. So I'm going 7.5. Just because I do like it, I like it every time. I, the the two times I've played it so far, I've I would had say fun seven point five is like one tiny step above. I like it. So like you like you like it, like it. Yeah, like if somebody pulled it out and wanted to play it, I would I would be just fine. I would have no I would have no objection. But you never ask for it though. I mean, granted, is it the f is it the first like worker placement. worker placement that I would play? No, we all know no. the answers to that because we all know your number one <laughs> is a worker placement as well. No, but again, if you if you pulled it out and it was like, "Hey, let's play viticulture," I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna say. Eh. Okay. I will say yes. Let's play viticulture. I definitely say eh, every <laughs> single time it's mentioned. But you won't let me sell it. No, it's still my game. We don't sell those. Kev? No, I think you get to go first. That's my game. I that's true. That's true. Uh, seven? I like it. Okay. I like it well enough. Um, I just think for me, it like the initial like excitement of the game is kind of gone. Played it definitely over 20 times. I was on a 14 win streak in this game <laughs> when we first got it. Mm. Like physical plays too. I, I have like played it. it every single time he has. I like it. I think it, it started off. Probably eight and a half when we got it and we're playing it. Over the years, it has just kind of gotten knocked down to the point where I would choose a lot more stuff over it. That's fair. I do like it, though. That's fair. Uh, for me, it's a nine. Um, Ooh. But I, I think actually in, in the context of what you just said about like, you know, you've been able to play a lot of other games and whatnot, get more stuff at the table. Um, when I think about like the worker placements um, that I have and that I get to play, um, I haven't been able to play this one as much, so it's still 
far more interesting to me. I'm also kind of just getting into drinking wine. So <laughs> I think from a thematic point of view, it's kind of fun to, to see all the different things going on and, and understand uh, like the different, uh, the varietal, the grape uh, varieties and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, do I, do I think this will hold a spot in the top five forever? No, probably not. Um, but I like it. All right. Do you guys have any points you want to make about the game, about the, our play that we just did? Um, this is about every single time I've played Viticulture. I get 17 points. <laughs> it never fails. I should go it look never at the fails. I get between 15 and 19 points every single time. Every single time. And if I get above 20, someone else has like beaten 25. And I'm like, there's just no way for me to gauge when the game is going to end. And people very much so sweep it out from under me because I like doing bigger things. So therefore, I have to build up to that. And then the turn before I'm about to do that, somebody ends it. This can, it can end all of a sudden. This one, it, like, it definitely it does. Did this turn, or this. How game. many points did you get in that last round, Dwayne? You got seven, eight, seven. No, it was oh, more. Ten. Yeah, ten, ten points. points in one go. I mean, that's pretty impressive, though. But you were all also I put him at like 22, 23 to finish it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, but that was also in part because you were able to do the fill wine order before Twice. anyone else, and well, then dropped your grande on it. I it was because I played the two cards, which let me harvest two fields and then make those into wine right after. And then the round going into the last round, it aged to where I could harvest or to fill the order on the last round. Yeah. I mean, I I will say that um, as much as I enjoy the game, I do have some, some quibbles and whatnot. Um, and I, I think they would generally kind of pan out over time. Um, but like, one of my frustrations, I think, Ken's, I think it happened to you this time where your initial wine orders that you get are all really high. Mm-hmm. So you're not residual uh, residual payments uh, aren't really accessible to you early on. So you kind of have to find alternative ways um, to make money. Um, so I understand how that can be kind of frustrating. In this case, you know, the wine orders that I got at the end all required white wines. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't have, I couldn't produce enough white wines in any given, uh, at any time to, to really make those work for me. So I had a bunch of wine orders in my hand that I couldn't use. Um, so there's definitely, there's a, there's a not insubstantial amount of luck that comes from the cards that are available to you. So I recognize that that's definitely something that can be very frustrating. Um, and especially when you stack it against like games like Apiary, um, you know, another Stonemeyer game worker placement. Um, that doesn't have as much of that. Um, I think I could see playing more worker placement games and having this one eventually, you know, kind of fall scoot down. down a little bit. Yeah, scoot down the list, especially scoot down the list of worker placements. And I think that's part of the reason why it did make it into number five. Originally, I said it was supposed to be my number six, but it got replaced. Uh, it replaced Twilight Imperium um, <laughs> in part because I wanted to, like, I felt like I like worker placement games and I wanted a good, true worker placement game in the top five. I think that's fair. I do want to say, Kenzie's average in this game, 17.67. <laughs> uh, see? Let me see. I have 12 wins. Let's see here. I've got uh, 12 wins. Oh, I don't know how to filter by just frustrating that game. Oop, we'll do it later. Frustrating. But if I, if I filtered it, I'm pretty sure that those first 12 plays, or my 12 wins, would just be all of those in a row. They'd be all in a row. And then you have it once. And you sense. wonder why I don't ever want to play this game. Um, <laughs> so we have 15 plays total. I have been defeated thrice now. And actually, Kenzie, you have beat me. You have one win. Oh, I have a win in this. You have a win. Wow. So you have beat me. Josh has beat me. And now Dwayne. So it's a six. No. <laughs> they can stay right where I put it. <laughs> so, uh, out of curiosity, have any of you? Well, I know you haven't, but have either the two of you played it with the Tuscany? No. No. Okay. I will be honest. I thought that this the essential edition, edition was everything until very recently. We've had this Today. game for years. No, yeah. I, I found out about that a while ago, but I just was like, oh. who cares? Yeah, you've got That's true. Tuscany, and then we just double-checked Oops. that the more visitors and the Rhineland expansion like are different. Um, those are not included in the, the Tuscany edition either. Oh. So um, you've got... The essential edition, Tuscany special edition, or essential edition, 
more visitors, the Rhine, and then Viticulture World. So yeah. if you do like it, there's obviously a lot of content out there for you. And I'm not saying it's a bad game. <laughs> it's just not. Five is a bad game. No, it's not. I wouldn't say that. I five mean, five is you, very mid. If you went on to, to BGG and you saw a game that was ranked five, we had a 5.0. This could be a topic. It could be. <laughs> it could be. And maybe we'll talk about yeah, that. We're, we're already coming in up in 20 minutes. On time for this. But uh, I think that's pretty much all we have to say about viticulture. And, you know, maybe a year from now, you'll see it in again in the ranking <laughs> video. <Year from> <laughs> You could have said that in 2023, and it would have been. Oh, dead God, joke. No. I'm, I'm trying okay, to. Okay, bye. Not being <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Fucking whack. <laughs>